Hello everyone, this is Fawad. Welcome to Switcher on Cloud. This is the continuity of NSXT from scratch video series. Today's video, I am going to start the deployment of Edge Virtual Machine. I will start from step 10. In step 10, we will configure Edge Transport Node. Then we'll move forward for the installation of Edge VM. Then we will create NSX Edge Cluster. For Edge, we will use Step Edge VLAN 30. And for upstream connectivity, we will use VLAN 96 and 97 for virtual router. And for redundancy, we can go ahead with VLAN 98 and 99. What is Edge? As you can see, Edge is offering several services, several functions as a resource for routing component, providing connectivity to the external gateway, external network, offer gateway firewalling, VPN, NAT, routing, load balancing, HCP, etc. So these are some requirements and NSX Edge cluster help ensure that at least one NSX Edge node is always available. So whenever you configure an edge vm you have it is a requirement you have to configure edge cluster as well and then you have to move that particular vm into edge cluster you can have a maximum of 10 edge nodes that support in a cluster uh, edge transport node can add only a one edge cluster a maximum 160 cluster you can configure And these are the form factors. You can go ahead with bare metal or the BMS. Our lab environment, we will go ahead with BM. Edge cluster, if you configure two virtual machines, so you can achieve a load balancing. Uh, some examples. Deployment consideration for Edge node. VSphere distributed switch. You must allocate at least two VM NICs to the NSX Edge node. First interface must be defined for the management access, like ETH0, by using the VNIC. The NVDS module, allocate data path interface FPE ETHX. For overlay tunneling and uplink connectivity by using the remaining next edge node vm deployment require a specific interface assignment the first in interface of the deployment must be assigned to the management interface other interface interface must be assigned to the data path process that create an overlay or vlan based vds well this is a great visual example which can clear the concept and see this gray box which represent a physical ESXi host in this ESXi host we will configure edge virtual machine this circle when we install this virtual machine it will create a three virtual NICs when we create a Transport zone for NSX Edge. We will configure one NVDA switch with two uplinks to send the traffic for north south connectivity. So let's jump into the actual lab environment and we will start the configuration of NSX Edge. So I am going to install my edge vm on this host 10.213 first of all you need to make sure you have configured IP address full app edge and the subnet is 30 click on system transport zone Create a transport zone for 
Perfect. Now create a transport zone profile for HVM. Profile. Link. As it is a virtual appliance, so it's up to you if you wanted to allocate two nicks or one nick. Up to you. Let's say I am going to use two nicks for load balancing, and this one we have thirty. First of all, just create edge cluster. Because without creating edge cluster, you cannot move forward because this is the requirement to configure a special services. So edge cluster. The cluster profile is the different one. This is and this profile is triggered by default. The purpose of this profile is to synchronize the configuration between the edge cluster and the bidirectional forwarding detection. If one edge goes down, the second one will take over. Now, start the deployment of NSX edge. So, let me now I look what is the VM name So for edge one we can use 10.219 and this is the DNS entry or edge zero one. Let's do that. Suppose the edge one will be use ten dot two one nine IP address. One thing you need to notice, especially if you are working in the lab environment, is you install this virtual machine, it will reserve 100% resources of memory. Is it to zero? But that allocated to that virtual machine. For credential, I, have, I am going to use credential VMware one exclamation. The name is asking where you wanted to deploy it on which cluster in the management cluster resource pool. I did not configure, and I am going to install it on. So 
put it in to one. Let's install it on two one four. I'm going to use static IP and online two. Management interface, I am going to use this one. Domain name for C dot DNS server one and two one six eight and NTV one and two one six eight. So this is the switch what I was talking about. This one, this is the switch what we are going to create now. Let's say NBDS. Passport zone we will use overlay and VLAN because it will carry it. And we will use edge opt-in profile which we just created and we will pool which I have here and tap edge. Tap edge is dedicated for so here I have to configure trunk interfaces which I can map here. So let's create trunk port group. Next, for this in a VLAN tracking mode, this interface with. are the virtual interfaces which I am binding with these trunk port groups right you can see it start the deployment so see the OBF start deploying and this is the edge VM which I am installing here and dot two one four it will take some time for the time being I I am going to pause the video so once it is done I will resume it back The edge VM deployment has been completed now. So this is it for now. See you in next video where I am going to start the deployment of segment T1 and T0 gateway. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned. See you in next video.